Instead of leading us across the Rubicon at the Sona of this year, Mr. Ramaphosa told us to turn around, to stay on this side of the riverbank, to double down on the same failed policies and the ANC approach of state control that has landed us in this terrible mess. Too weak, too indecisive, and too cowardly to take on the cadres, the compromised, the vested interests in his, the political party that he leads. He turned his back on the Rubicon, he turned his back on us, and he turned his back on the only pathway that can save this country. Instead of getting the state out of the way of private electricity generation, he gave sweeping powers to the very same minister who abused those powers during the COVID crisis last year. Instead of deregulating and unleashing private sector electricity generation, he has centralized even more power in his super presidency. Instead of privatizing failed state-owned enterprises, he's created a massive new state-owned enterprise to provide fresh looting opportunities for the cadres. Instead of removing incompetent ministers of energy and public enterprises who block reform, he added yet another ministry to his already bloated cabinet. Mark this, by once again expanding and rather than shrinking the role of the state, the president has all but guaranteed that load shedding and all the other terrible crises visited on the people of South Africa by his government will only get worse. 